Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, I am Muhammad Hamou. I would like to present my technical paper uh, within IPCME 2021 conference under title Heat Transfer Analysis in Compact Heat Exchanger with Fiber Reinforced Plate. The presentation outline. Introduction. Due to their light out and easy of manufacturing, fiber reinforced composites are replacing metal in many heat exchanger applications. However, their heat transfer dissipation performance is not investigated in detail. This paper aims to study experimentally the heat transfer performance of fins made from fiber reinforced composites in compact heat exchanger. Objectives. To investigate the heat transfer performance of compact fin and tube heat exchanger made from reinforced polymer composites. Method Lubi. As I start, I use uh, the raw material carbon nanotube, re uh, resin expume, woven carbon fiber, steel plate. The material used to make rectangular mold for the manufacturing of flat pins, a melt steel was used. Then experiment set up preparation, design of experiment, conduct experiment, collect the velocity of air and uh, temperature, uh, then data analysis and the, the discussion writing. Uh, the parameter where uh, they force it at 12 cm, multiple 12 cm and 1 mm with end-line end setup with constant fin spacing, a total of 13 woven carbon fiber fins were fabricated. The fully experimental setup with the measurement instruments used in the experiment and the position of the temperature sensor in the inline fin are shown in figure 1. Air is used as a working tool and in order to obtain the thermal hydraulic performance of the fin and tube heat exchanger, the experiments were performed in, in an open wind tunnel. The system of the experiment cons of, consists of the in, uh, in, inlet section, test section, uh, measurement tools for air temperature and water, pressure drop, velocity of air, and controller devices for water temperature. The system starts up by operating the suction fan so that air flows into the test section over the fin and tube. By using the coil heater, the, the water is heated between uh, 40 to 50 Celsius in a basin, then pump it throughout the tube to the inlet of heat extender by using hot water pump with power 22 watt and water flow 800 liter per hour and then this water returns to the basin and heat it again and continues in a circular motion at the same temperature the X house fan was operated with a 50 watt AC current by means of the frequency converter the fan speed was controlled to five different speeds. Figure 2 shown at the test section made of 13 reinforced polymer fans with 2 cm distance between each other and cover tube by 5 mm diameter. Eight locations were selected on the test section and connected to the key type sensor so that six points were distributed on the test section inside the wind tunnel point two three four five six and seven and two points outside the wind tunnel one of them in the inlet point one and the other at the outlet point eight then by using data logger the temperature was measured for the eight point for each second during two minutes then this process was repeated for the five different velocities of the airflow. Data re reduction. 
In this section, the data reduction is identified as a primary purpose for the evaluating the heat transfer performance of heat exchanger by finding the heat transfer coefficient. The heat transfer rate transferred from the hot water to the tube in calculated using water properties and temperature differences. Result and discussion. Two random airflow velocities are selected and presented here in figure 3. To prove the flow and temperature distribution are at steady state conditions in every point during the experiments. As shown in both figures, the temperature values at various thermocouple locations for the airflow velocities of 2.3 and 3.2 m per second show straight horizontal curves at all times. The temperature distribution of the working fluid measured at the fixed water flow flow rate of 0.22 liter per second are shown in table 1. The temperature variation along the tube length was measured at 8 points at different air flow velocities which were 1.8, 2.3, 2.6, 2.8 and 3.2 m per second. As can be seen from the table, a, a gradually decreasing trend of the temperature from point T1 to T2 for all airflow velocities. The temperature drop was around 10 from inlet to outlet of the test section. Figure 4 depicts the effect of airflow velocity of the location air side heat transfer coefficient H. This figure reveals that the, uh, the significantly when uh, when the hot water traveled from from the inlet to the outlet section of the tube at all airflow velocity. In generally, the effect of airflow velocity on the heat transfer coefficient is neg negligible. However, as the water flow advances towards the outlet x increases, it can be noted a trend characteristic by the increase of H with decreasing air flow rate. These different behaviors are associated with the time required by the air to absorb more heat from the hot water when traveling at low speed. It is difficult to generalize the overall trend as, as it may change when the water side mass flux is changing and instead of kept constant. Conclusion From the heat transfer result, it was found that the fins made of, made of the fiber reinforced composite can be used in combat heat exchanger due to the heat dissipation performance is comparable with the conventional heat transfer materials. Throughout the experiment, which was for five different velocities of airflow, it was absorbed an average of 10, uh, of 10 cellules, uh, decrement in the water side temperature. However, at a constant water side flow rate, increasing the air side flow rate has a significant effect on the average air side heat transfer coefficient at all tube locations. Fiber reinforced fins can be used as an alternative material for heat dissipation in the compact heat exchanger. Now, Wint, I would like to thank University Malaysia Bahang and Ministry of High Education Malaysia of the financial support given. This is the references. Thank you for listening my presentation.